Hi, hi, it's JJ Gatt. So I attended yesterday's annual global advertiser summit called Pinterest Presents. It's a, an event, it's virtual where, and I think it may have been in person at some point in the past, I don't know, where Pinterest essentially presenting to the marketing and then advertising community all the great things it has to allow us and those of us who represent advertisers and marketers and brands to reach their audience, reach their fullest potential, get their market, make a lot of money for themselves. And I guess Pinterest gets a cut because we're advertising on their platform. So yeah, so here's how it went. Um, as usual, they have like a fun little campy sort of like skit sort of situation. I thought it was really super cute. It was like essentially the lead up to the event and the behind the scenes sort of of the creative processes and the organization. I thought it was super cute. So you haven't seen it, it's on replay. You can go and, and check that out. I thought it was funny as well. I thought they had really great people who um, per, you know, were in it. After that, you had a series of announcements, a series of executives. The CEO actually spoke last um, at Pinterest, just um, laying out the different opportunities. And so if you did not go, here's your opportunity to have a quick little recap for you. I do all the work, so you don't have to do all the work. And even though on this channel, I've pivoted a little bit. I went from all Pinterest. I went from whatever the hell I did before to Pinterest marketing. I included YouTube growth and I was like well okay how about just YouTube education and now I'm just doing creator economy generally but Pinterest is part of the creator economy so this fits right in and I haven't done a what's new on Pinterest in a while so this is perfect so yeah so let's talk about the first thing that came out the gate is pin people they had a little montage of people saying what they love Pinterest for we all know what we love Pinterest for we love it because it's a platform and it's Pinterest acknowledging that it's a platform for ideas where people go to curate their best ideas and it's personal to them and they're not necessarily looking as I guess I forget who's presented they're not necessarily looking to um, show up or be a creator they're just looking for ideas and it's personal to them and I thought that was interesting that Pinterest recognized that because I feel like they were were, were curated but with them courting creators that they were moving away from that core mission of it just being a platform where people curate ideas and inspiration and things like that so that was a great acknowledgement from them and since they're pinner first they acknowledge that there's three demographic of people in, that they're really targeting one is young people gen z all the platforms are targeting gen z i went i was I said yesterday as well, I also attended Instagram CEO I had a recent thing. And then also, I think I saw something on LinkedIn. I had um, an event on, I had a TikTok event that I missed and I also had a YouTube event. All of those platforms are according Gen Z. So it's all about the Gen Z audience. So much so that Pinterest is now incorporating Shuffles, which is a third party app into the experiments. And what it learned from Shuffles is that it's going to make the ability to actually cut out items and part of the pins and put them in sort of like mood boards, something that advertising advertising community use when you're trying to come up with a campaign, you want to know what's the mood, what are we looking for? So the they recognize that the Gen Z think visually and they think in terms of mood board. And so they're gonna make it easier because they're guided about what Gen Z do. So there you go. So that's going to be not only something that more creators, more users going to be able to use, but also they're going to make them shoppable. So for a marketer, for an advertiser brand, there's more opportunity for you to get products sold. So there you go. So that's mood boards. And the other thing they said about the shuffles that they're being shoppable is then they talked about new different ways for doing ads that I'm excited about because when you do your ads, essentially it's they'll, Pinterest figure out who it goes to and for the most part they may may not click it it's hit or miss but they have these new um, features new ability for you to be a premium get a premium placement where essentially if someone opens up the app your video will play up there and they had larger companies larger brands experiment with it and it looks great it looks amazing I was like wow if a small guys and the small clients can do it that's gonna be amazing to have those premium spots and then they have these thing called showcase ads now where it's kind of a slideshow instead of just like one pin you can actually have a series of pins showcasing it so that's great for fashion I'm thinking if you're like here's an outfit and when style it you can mix it with this 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 or this um, or here's a room if you want to decorate this room you want to start with this you want to start with this you want to put this in it this and then this and it I think that opens up a possibility for um, getting for sale so that's amazing and then they have this thing called quiz ads which is something new because people love quizzes quizzes do well you can actually it's all almost sort of what's what's the word I'm looking for? You almost pre-qualify your your client or your customer with a quiz and knowing exactly how to service them. I'm excited about quiz ads. So all those new premium ad thingies are ex actually exciting for me myself because I'm an advertiser, but also for clients that join me. So 
that was great. And then you have, they said the 2024 global calendar is coming out, which is wonderful because it's kind of like for the whole year, week by week, they'll be telling you what's coming down the pike. Like what's the next trend? What's the next advertising? What they anticipate based on their data analysis is what people are going to be searching for, which is great for you as a creator, as a marketer, I mean, not a creator, as a marketer or a brand to know in advance, like, you know, what you should be pushing, what campaign you should be doing and what the people are going to be searching for so you can meet those search query needs. So that 2024 global calendar is available is about to come up it's gonna be week by week love that and then they have this creator which we've seen already the pinterest creator tool ai um api which is essentially is a way for you as a as a as a marketer or brand to access the back end of, of pinterest and, and connect it so that the experience for the the target audience is really immersive it's based on their search history and so you're more likely to get a hit you're most likely to convert because you're not just um just put you know just having like almost like a composite or having like a sketch or having like a the uh, a profile of the, the the market that you're trying to reach and as you just hope you get there you can actually using the api tool hit the specific pain points hit the specific interests of the specific target market and only with the api tool you can do that i haven't used it i haven't experimented with it but i'm sure you can you know use talk to pinterest and talk to your ad rep and get a sense of how to do it and then they also have this new thing called like a pinterest academy for new advertisers essentially walking you through how to use all these tools so the pinterest creator academy is great um those are essentially for the for the nutshell you know what what i got from it they also there's a portion talking about e-commerce but anyway go watch it yourself but those are the the the, in, the uh was it the the, the um, highlights that's it they were the highlights of it and it was very exciting like i've, I've gone to some long time ago and i missed some and i've you know get active and don't get active but i'm happy that i'm glad that i actually rcp for it and actually took time to watch it and you know and it was it was a good it was a good experience actually so i'm happy that um yeah i'm happy they did it and yeah so if you have any questions if you did you go did you watch it what are your thoughts on that what are you most excited about i'll tell you i am most excited about the premium ads and the, the calendar the premium ads and I'm interested to see how that that the uh, the sh the shuffles experiment works. That seems interesting to me. So yeah. Anyway, so for more videos, for more Pinterest related videos, you want to check out this playlist next.